Hi guys, welcome back to KS Make Up Your Face where I teach you how to make up your face. Today I'm going to show you a hair tutorial which is something that I've never really done before because um, I wouldn't say that I'm that great at doing hair but I'm going to try this out, you know. I apologize in advance if it is out of focus of any sorts. Um, my hair is dark so it's kind of hard to see like what's going on but I'm going to try my best. I'm actually going to take my hair out first. Alright, so the things that you're going to need for this hair tutorial is a rubber band, preferably one that matches your hair, so just hides in it. Okay, well, you're going to need like one of those tiny elastics, um, I guess since I can't find mine, since I, I just grabbed it, and I don't know, where did it, <laughs> I don't, okay, this is seriously going to frustrate me. Oh well, whatever. You're going to need a tiny elastic, but I guess for this video, since I can't find mine, I'm just going to use a bobby pin and some bobby pins. Okay, so what you're going to start off by doing is wherever your, your hair parts, you know, part it that way. So my hair naturally parts to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my, my bangs or your fringe or whatever you call it. And what we're going to do is we're going to braid it. So I'm going to separate it into three sections. Now, when you're braiding, you're going to go over the middle with your right strand. Then over the middle with your left strand. So that's so what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go over with my right strand. Okay, pull taut and then go over with your left strand. Now, this is sort of like a French braid, but when you go over with your right strand, you're not picking anything up. When you go over with your left strand, you're going to pick up pieces, so. I'm not really sure what the name of this braid is, but shh. I'm going to continue doing that. So as you can see, once I hit here, there's no more like little short bang hairs or fringe hairs. So I'm going to stop picking up now, and I'm just going to continue to finish up that braid. But I'm, as you can see, I'm pulling it towards the back. This is where that mini elastic would come in if I hadn't lost it. But since this is all I have, I'm just going to bobby pin it. If you don't mind having your part showing, then just leave it showing. Um, but if it does bother you, then try and like hide it as you pull your hair up. But you're going to pull your hair into a high ponytail with the braid. Alright, so now at this point you would either take out the bobby pin or the ponytail, but in my case it's a bobby pin. Now we're going to form our high bun. So my hair has like some curls in it, some waves, so I feel like that adds texture and that makes my bun a little bit bigger. If you guys want to make your bun bigger, you know, by all means go ahead and tease your hair or if your hair has natural waves in it, keep it, you know. Um, it just makes making the bun a lot easier. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start twisting my hair with tangles and stuff all in and just start wrapping it around the base. Okay, now this is where my bobby pin trick comes in. So I'm inserting it upside down, wrapping it over the strand of hair that I want to pin down, twist it over, and then insert it this way. So. So, again, I'm going to insert it upside down, flip it over, and do the same thing, so. Alright, ready? That bun ain't going nowhere. Now, I have some stray hairs from when I got that haircut, which wasn't that good, but I'm just going to pin those little nasties. Oh, bam! Alright, now I'm just going to add one last bobby pin. Okay, now that that's in there, I'm just going to, you know, tug at the bun a little bit. 
just looks like a bigger bun. Now you can stop here or you can add little accessories. One accessory that you can add to your bun is a bow. So you can just, this one's a little clippy, you can just clip it in the front, like, oh, how cute. Or you could actually clip it in the back, like, I do not know if I'm in frame or not. So let's just guess that I am. So you can either do that or you can do the bandana. I like doing the badan bandana, <laughs> the bandana. So the way that you tie the bandana as a headband is, so if this is right and this is left, you're going to tie it so that right is in the front and you're going to loop it underneath like so. Okay, now this is right now. Even though this was left before, this is now right. This is now left. And you're going to turn right behind the left and then tie it underneath. So, pull, strapped. See how the headband goes like horizontally instead of like all funkadelic? But you could also wear it like this if you want. You can hide your ears or you could wear it like, you know, behind your ears whatever suits you I mean some people prefer it some way some people prefer another but you can always wear it like this you know jazz it up you don't have to just wear it plain but those are just some options oh no I did not just do that oh. all right let's do the test one more time so notice how that bun is not going anywhere that's just how I do my bun updos um, if you guys have any other requests for hairstyles that you'd like me to do please do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and share and thank you guys so much for watching as always I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs> bye